Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Stored Switzerland. We're at VMworld 2015, and one of the things we're seeing at the show is the advent of new platforms. Platforms like WebCloud, OpenStack, and HPC environments. These environments need more than just flash. They need a combination of uh, high performance, high density flash, and very dense but moderately performing hard disk technology. So to talk about that, I've asked Tony Afshari, he's the Director of Marketing at Seagate, to talk us through some of these different architectures. Tony, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having us, appreciate it. So what do you got drawn up here? So um, we are actually building these dense storage systems that are very cost effective at multiple markets. Okay. We are at web cloud where because of the growth of uh, unstructured data, they're just looking for inexpensive ways and uh, to put dense storage together to store data. Now these would be environments like that are you know storing pictures and, and file, file sync and share, those kind of places, right? Right, people are not throwing data away. Right. So anything you put on your Yahoo email or your Gmail and so forth is right. going to stay there forever, right. including pictures, including okay. all the pictures that you load in picture type web services. Right. Okay. So all of that is eventually going to sit somewhere. And right. depending on the age of it and how often it's going to be deployed, people need to place it somewhere. Right. And now you were telling me before we started that the pennies make a difference for these guys, right? Absolutely. So they're very happy with building storage out of the cheapest possible storage there is, and mm -hmm. those are typically fat SATA drives, okay. hard disk drives. Uh, but we've, with that comes some expense, some 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 penalty mm -hmm. that we've managed to address by adding a little bit of flash. Okay. So then, and then uh, talk a little bit about OpenStack and HPC. What do you see there? With OpenStack, what we're seeing is that OpenStack is actually being deployed as an entry level SLA in some enterprises, primarily banks. And the same thing, they are keeping it as the lowest uh, cost uh, solution out there for their clients. And they're also building it out of HDDs. Okay. So they're very interested to continue to maintain that as a very low price uh, option, but also try to avoid some of the penalties that may come with that. Okay. And now HPC, I'm actually a little surprised to see up there. So they're, they're, they're also, uh, obviously HPC, high performance computing, you would also think high performance storage, but there's a need to also have uh, a lot of, lot of data stored there too, right? Exactly. So what happens, as you know, HPC, everything is memory based. It, data is pretty much alive. Latencies are in uh, uh, f extremely uh, low range. But ultimately, some of that data needs to be moved into a storage farm and sure. a lot of analytics to be done on it. And as that data increases and the budgets are under pressure, universities are also looking at putting some inexpensive solutions together for that. So let's talk about what you're doing there. So basically what you're doing is, is uh, the way I would describe it, is you're using flash as a shock absorber for these uh, very high dense uh, hard disk technologies, Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. With SMR, which is sh shingled media reader, uh, with the same casing, same amount of, same bill, bill of material essentially for a, let's say example, a six terabyte HDD SATA drives, which is practically free, right. you get another two terabytes on top of that. Okay. So there's an eight terabyte version of that right. uh, by going to this uh, particular technology, SMR. Well, and, and SMR is also going to let you kind of extend those capacities even further than we thought we were going to get, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And the good things about SMRs is they're very good for handling sequential data. Okay. So as long as you are writing sequentially and in larger block IO types, they're very good at that. Yep. So performance is fine, they, all that kind of stuff. It's just lining it out. And I guess that's the role of flash here is to kind of set it up so it's more sequential when it gets to the hard drive case, right? Uh, or try to keep or contain things that are not sequential oh, okay. in flash. So what happens is as nice as uh, somebody above you is trying to manage their objects, mm -hmm. and primarily this, all the ones that I mentioned to you are object-based type solutions and stacks. Uh, are as, as, as good as they can manage it, there's always some noise, whether it's what's metadata or something else that the file system is doing can get in the way. And Flash can be a great container for that. 
and in very, very minimal amounts. So for an 8 terabyte uh, disk drive in this case, we're only using 5 gig of flash. Wow, okay. Right. So that, and then you know you were talking about metadata object storage in particular is known to have a lot of metadata associated with it and metadata handling becomes one of the key bottlenecks really mm -hmm. to the system so putting putting that metadata on flash makes a makes a lot of sense now would you do that manually or would you do some sort of caching software um, so working with both Ceph and Swift we've we're actually approaching both models okay so there are ways you can you can sequester things in Flash by forcing things to be in Flash certain volumes, but also make that even easier by a caching solution. So Seagate has a caching solution, Nitro XD, that we're making available to Ceph and Swift for free, and we plan to open source it. And what that will do is to take the guessing game out. It will be looking for things. It's tuned for SMR, essentially. It's, it will be looking for... Um, I.O. block sizes, certain I.O. block sizes and randomness of it that can impact the performance of, of SMR and move it to flash. So that's interesting. You specifically tuned the, the Nitro technology for the SMR drives. We did. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. And then when you say you're going to open source this and put it out here, that means I'm basically going to have a really nice integrated stack over here then, right? Absolutely. We work very closely with those guys, as well as some commercial solutions like Clever Safe, like uh, Scality because SMR is a technology that they all want to adopt. Sure. And for SMR to work effectively, you could use a little bit of flash and uh, take care of some of the corner cases that SMR can, can, can misbehave. And the nice thing about that is that you don't have to take up any storage and capacity away from the system. So this does not have to be a 2.5 inch uh, form factor. Okay, so I don't so have to use available drive bays to do this. Absolutely. Okay. You can use an adding card and or a M.2 form factor, both of those available on, uh, you know, from the Nitro line of products. So Seagate offers either an adding card in the system that has enough capacity to not only have flash for numbers of SMR drives that you can have in there, but also move the boot volume to it mm -hmm. and or use it for other reasons in the system. So that uh, all integrates now, as I understand, with NVMe, so you get the full advantage of the PCIe architecture as well, right? Absolutely. Both the adding cards and M.2s are NVMe form factors. Another interesting point to add is that in the demo that we showed at the, uh, at the Open Summit, we used an OCP rack, and we were able to put enough SMRs there for a 2.2 petabyte um, system, and that's the entire catalog of Netflix. Wow, and, and that's a very dense environment. Very though, dense though. and very inexpensive. Right, okay, <laughs> great. Well, Tony, thanks for joining us My today. pleasure. So there you have it. If you need very dense environments to store lots of objects, high capacity environments, the, you can actually leverage Flash to kind of overcome some of the weaknesses of these SMR drives and use both to their full advantage. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today.